Hi everybody, this is Maria Dolan, Marketing Director for Edison Mobile Estates. Today we are looking at a 1973 mobile home that was taken out of Edison Mobile Estates in Edison, New Jersey. This home was 14 by 66 or 924 square feet without uh, this part of the house, which is an addition. Uh, this manufactured home was built by the Zimmer Manufacturing Company and it was model 651. So you'll see that shortly when we go up those steps to the right there. The side addition was not part of the Zimmer manufactured home and was added shortly by the then owner, probably in 1974. So that's the main part of the house there. And we'll take a look at the addition just for um, historical facts. Let's see, this is a drywall area. Um, the current owner had used it for storage and then there was a fireplace on this left wall which was very unique. Um, and I think they added a bathroom in the back there. So this ended up being a two bedroom, two bath, uh, no, three bath home. Um, there's a lot of mold in this house and unfortunately we ended up having to take it to the landfill. So we're going to continue looking in this area at the addition and then um, go into the main part of the house. Today there is a beautiful state of the art three bedroom, two bath manufactured home on this location at lot AA8 in Edison Mobile Estates that we built. And it's a Redmond home, which is a division of Champion Homes, and it has been sold. So here's the additions bathroom. And then we walk through this area here. We will go into the main part of the house. So I did a lot of research on the internet about the Zimmer Manufacturing Company. And uh, what I'll be reading to you next is um, all the information I discovered on the internet. It was difficult to do. There's very little written. And um, I actually contacted the Manufacturing Museum in Indiana for assistance, um, but they didn't get back to me. So here's part of the wall, and I believe that was part of the original design of the house. Some of the other Zimmers I've seen online have those mirrors also, and they all have that vaulted ceiling. So here's what I'm going to read to you. Um, this is a little bit about what I found on the internet about the Zimmer Manufacturing Company. In the 1950s, Mr. Paul Zimmer, a son of a Detroit boat and auto parts maker, started the Zimmer Manufacturing Company. And Zimmer built man manufactured homes constructed in factories in Pennsylvania, Indiana, and Ohio. The company grew and prospered quickly, and one of the Zimmer manufactured homes, when the Zimmer manufactured homes were first built in the 1960s, the homes reflected styles that highlighted space travel, which included starbursts and sunbursts. Homes were designed with an atomic mid-century style, which you'll see here. Zimmer billed itself as the world's finest mobile home and delivered with features like a raised kitchen, just one step up, and tip out rooms and a liberal dose of starburst and sunburst from cabinets to the stove clock. You will see some of these features in this house. Now this um, canopy outside the wind awning outside the window was added and is not part of the Zimmer design. This kitchen also is not a step up. Um, kitchen. Now you're seeing the house exactly as the previous owners left it, so this is not um, at all what we sell. But I thought it would be interesting historically to take a look at the Zimmer house. So by the mid 1980s, the company had sales of over $325 million, with 14 manufacturing plants spread across the United States and they employed several thousand employees. Zimmer homes were the top of the line in their day. They were the most expensive and highest quality of all manufactured homes. Now here you see some of their design in the sinks and the paper. 
And those lights are what intrigued me. I believe that is original to the house. Here's the shower and the toilet area. Unfortunately, through the years, we have had to take many of these Zimmer homes in other manufactured home communities in New Jersey to the landfill as they have, unfortunately, outlived their lifespan for many reasons. Now here you notice that behind where the bed used to be, there is wood paneling and I believe um, one of the owners of this home, I believe there's been three, painted um, much of the house white to make it brighter, but in the day, this house was dark wood paneling, which was part of the 60s and 70s. So more about the manufactured uh, company named Zimmer. In the late 1970s, Zimmer Manufacturing diversified into several additional fun businesses. These divisions included the manufacturing of luxury yachts, motorhomes, RV recreational vehicles, van conversions, and finally, luxury vehicles. Each new Zimmer product developed the reputation of being the highest quality product available in the market. The luxury vehicles were often on display at the manufactured housing trade shows. In 1986, 80% of the company's $134.6 million in revenue came from the sale of manufactured homes, prefabs to some. So here's one of those lights I wanted to show you. In 1986, it closed mobile home plants in Wichita Falls, Texas and Newton, Kansas. And in July 1987, Zimmer announced the conditional sale of four manufactured housing plants in Indiana, Ohio, and North Carolina, two unnamed buyers for $12.5 million. The deal would produce a cash down payment of $5.5 million, again, to retire bank debt. The assumption of $4.25 million in liabilities and another $2.75 million in deferred payments. Ultimately, Paul Zimmer wrote in his quarterly shareholders letter that the company would be less dependent on manufactured housing, although committed to the resurgence of that industry, giving more emphasis to the van conversions and the flashy Golden Spirit and Quicksilver luxury automobiles that he built in Pompano Beach, Florida, and the motor coach division. The Zimmer Corporation wasn't the only company in the manufactured housing industry that suffered in the 1980s. From 1983 to 86, U.S. sales of mobile homes fell 17% to 244,000 units, primarily because of a substantial drop in demand for manufactured homes in the oil-producing states and because of lower mortgage rates that made regular stick-built homes more affordable. This was all explained in the Manufactured Housing Institute in Arlington, Virginia. Many companies built plants in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Louisiana to meet the needs of those home buyers in those oil producing states. But when people lost their jobs as the oil industry became depressed, they let their banks seize the homes used as collateral and the banks resold the units in competition with manufacturers newer homes. Many manufactured home companies filed Chapter 11, some merged and others were acquired. In 1984, there were 172 companies in the manufactured home industry with more than 400 plants across the United States. By 1987, there were only 130 companies with about 315 plants. Zimmer Manufacturing Company actually fared better than other companies. In 1986, sales of its manufactured homes reached an all-time high of 107 million. This put Zimmer Manufacturing ranked as eighth on Mobile Manufactured Home Merchandiser Magazine's list of such companies. In 1984, Zimmer had ranked at 13th, so it actually did better through the years. However, by 1987-88, the parent company, Zimmer Manufacturing, fell into serious economic problems, as mentioned by the oil producing um, states. Uh, losing their oil producing business and the trickle effect or ripple effect I should say domino effect affecting the actual home buyers of manufactured homes so the company parent company w went with 325 million dollars in bankruptcy taking down with it all of its operating divisions including the successful and prof profitable 10 million dollar a year car company the IRS 
and bankruptcy court came in and seized everything and hauled everything in the car company factory and offices to the dump and auctioned off the buildings. Zimmer Manufacturing on the internet says it is now owned by William French of Northeast Homes, Hummels Wharf, Pennsylvania. I put in a call to him a couple weeks ago but didn't hear back and I didn't either hear back from the Museum um, of Manufactured Homes out in Indiana. So I thought I'd get this video out there um, with the information that I do have so that we could um, have a little time capsule for the industry of manufactured housing and its really amazing past. If you're interested in a new, modern, innovative manufactured home, please go to our website, www.myhomeinedison.com. We look forward to showing you our latest and greatest manufactured homes that we're building. They're modern, innovative, and um, quite different from what you're seeing here. Thanks for stopping in for this curiosity video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.